Okay, so my husband's gonna try and keep the boys entertained, hopefully long enough for me to do this video. I just wanted to do what the boys are gonna get in their Easter basket this morning. It was really kind of slim pickings because we're in Germany and it's kind of just whatever we can find. Okay, so here everything Easter related has gone like a week before Easter actually happened. So nobody had eggs, nobody had any candy. Thankfully we had some eggs from last year and we bought like one or two packs before everything started, but that's uh, a whole nother story. So let me just show you what's in their baskets really quick before they join me. Um, there are a few things that didn't fit in their baskets. <clears throat> this was her only chalk available, um, big draw chalk. So I know you can make it yourself, but I didn't have mold. So got this chalk bought this jar of bubble wands for them so they can blow bubbles. These are kind of their outdoor toys for my little one. He's going to be two in a little over a month so we have the Mr. Potato Head with all the different little pieces and parts and it comes in a little bucket to keep everything together. And for my older one, um, he has never tried Play-Doh. I know that's kind of sad but when we had this type of clay back in the States and it didn't fit in our suitcase so I'm going to let him try Play-Doh and see how it works. Hopefully the younger brother doesn't try and eat it but I thought this was really cool because they like digging up stuff and so I thought this was neat. And then the stuff that actually did fit in their baskets, <clears throat> um, basically they both have the same thing. They have a little thing of candy like this, a packet of stickers, they each got their little choo-choo to add to their set. Two little bags of candy. And then the triangle help you hold, like teach you how to, the proper grip. These little crayons. My almost two year old, he knows how to hold a pen like pretty well, but my three and a half year old, he's still struggling with it. So I'm hoping that those will help him learn how to properly hold a pen. So now my dilemma. We have all these eggs, right? But unfortunately I tried filling them yesterday and none of the candy that I got was of course going to fit in the eggs. So I was in trouble because there was absolutely no other candy to buy and it's not like I could look for bigger eggs. So instead I wanted them, I can't really just put the candy outside. I mean, it's not hot. I think it might have started snowing last night, but um, I just, I don't want candy out there anyways. So in order to avoid bugs and if you lose an egg or something, there being melted candy out there, um, what we decided to do was we just filled the eggs with like a little coin. Because I mean, I think the whole point of the Easter hunt is to find the eggs anyways. And then when they come inside, we're just going to exchange their little eggs for little carrot bags of candy so it was kind of like our last minute you know we need to fix the solution what can we do so I mean they don't really need that much candy anyways they're little I don't really want them eating that much candy so but I really wanted them to have a good Easter egg hunt so this way they can hunt for a ton of eggs and they can just get some candy when they come inside so not as cool as when you have the candy in the eggs, but I didn't want a whole bunch of like open candy and I wasn't going to try and cram like half of a candy bar in there. That would just, that would have been a bigger mess. So hopefully this works because we were kind of out of options and I wanted them to be able to have a good Easter and do the hunt. So as long as my little one doesn't try and eat the coins inside the egg, then I think it'll be a success. So yes that's kind of what's in their little Easter baskets and hopefully they enjoy it and hopefully I can get some footage of them doing their Easter egg hunt so yeah